I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. 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 I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Please, sir, please don't make this thing jail. I'm begging you. We're not criminals. Sir, sir, please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please. Dude, please. Sir, please. Oh, my God. On, don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what drink. you're doing to me, man. Why? Today's video takes us to Arroyo Grande, California. I believe that's how you pronounce it. At any rate, we're going to stop by a high school with our good friend Katie Kidman, where apparently she's been before and she's been banned from the property. I don't know what her problem is. I guess she wants clicks and views on her channel. Sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy! Well, hello. Monday morning over here at the Royal Grande High School. It's raining. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Bet your butt crack, pray for rain, and here we have it. Here's all the kids I'm filming at the high school. Here's the Royal Grande High School. Monday morning. Doesn't look like anybody's really interested in what I'm doing over here. There's a police officer over here. Now this is our good friend Katie Kidman. She's taken a ride in the back of a police car on more than one occasion for doing this. I don't know what it is with her with these high schools, middle schools, and elementary schools. But this seems rather creepy for a 62-year-old woman to be doing. I just don't get it, Katie Kidman. Well, if you're trying to get attention for your channel, I guess I do understand it. But still doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Royal Grande Eagles High School. All visitors checking the front desk. So, we have a rainy Monday morning over here. Nobody in here. But there is a police officer here. Watching over things for you, folks. There they all go. I don't know what this woman's problem is, but perhaps she likes to take rides in the back of police cars. Uh, she's out here in the rain recording kids at a high school. Now, I just can't think of anything more creepy than that. Uh, well, you don't have any crocheting or knitting you could be doing. Go play a bingo game or something. What's wrong with this woman? <laughs> yep, it's me, Betty Buttcrack. Good morning, everybody. Monday morning. Let's get to cracking. Get in there and learn something. No gossiping. Good morning, no gossiping. love. Love you. Love you. Betty Butt Crack checking up on my kids. And you're all my kids right here. You're my kid. You're all my kids. I love you. Betty Butt Crack. Good morning. Monday morning. Rise and shine. I had to do it. And look at me. I had to go through all of this nonsense. For what? For nothing. What happened? I had to go through all this nonsense. Hi. At school. school. If you're going to be on our campus, you What's need good? to get to the main office and get a visitor's pass. Is this public property, ma'am? No, this is a school property. It's public. Stop taping me. It's public. In your Hi, name? Dennis. I think that's rather ironic, Betty Buttcrack, that you would tell kids, I had to go through this and look what happened to me. Yeah, so the moral to the story is, uh, be careful out there because in 50 years you could wind up like Betty. No doubt about that. Your name? My name's Andrea Lee, I'm the assistant principal. Come assistant principal? Main office. Alright, no thank you. Have a nice day. 
Okay. Have a nice day. I'm leaving. You to leave. I'm leaving. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't treat the kids like this, okay? Have some respect. We have a really mean vice pre principal over here. She's kicking Betty butt crack off. That vice principal you have is really mean. She's this kicking morning. Betty butt crack. Look. <laughs> Rise and shine. Let's get to school here, kids. It's 9 o'clock already, man. Morning. Love you all. I'm here for you. Don't get too bored. It'll be over soon. Very soon, I promise. The vice president wants me to go to jail. Look at her. Ah, help! I've been informed by more than one of my subscribers that uh, Betty here has some serious problems and even her family has disowned her. I tend to believe that because who in the right mind, number one, goes out in the rain to film a high school and number two, why are you trying to agitate the vice principal? Here she comes. Let's see what happens. The vice the vice principal wants to send Betty Buttcrack to jail. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be over soon, this boring thing they got in this country. But I'll try to entertain you while I'm here. <laughs> they all have cars. But... Good morning. It'll be over soon. This boring thing they got going on over here. <laughs> the the vice principal is chasing me through the parking lot. Look at her. Betty loves you. It could very well be that this woman is off her meds or possibly she's misdiagnosed. And I mean that in the kindest way. I just can't believe somebody would stand out here for clicks and views like this. But on a side note, this is a really nice high school. I've never seen covered parking in a high school or any high school for that matter. No, ever. Mm, yeah, they must have some money out there at, uh, at this location. No! 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 Get away from me! just in case no one noticed this is a police officer telling her to stop and she says no go away and she's out in the middle of the road walking through traffic trying to avoid the police officer again is this all for clicks and views let me go check the clicks and views and I'll tell you on the next break how much she has so far he's chasing me I gotta run, guys. Stop her. We're here trying to chase her. Get him.
Where is this woman's brain? She's a 62 year old woman outside in the rain, literally running away from a police officer to evade arrest. Where is your brain, woman? Get away from me. Get away. Get away. You get away from me. Well, now I checked the clicks and views on her channel. It's got 917 views in three hours. Well, I guarantee you that my video is going to have more than that. But come on, 917 people watched it and you went through all this rigmarole for this? Really? If you're going to do something stupid, make sure you're going to get paid, Grandma. You see, if she was really that interested in getting away, she would put that camera in her pocket and make a beeline for her car. But she's not interested in getting away. She's interested in what's going to follow here in just another minute. She's a clown. Perhaps she's crying out for help. Perhaps she needs some mental health services. Someone please help this woman. Oh my goodness. Now look at him. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Still, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know, you've been arrested for this before. Well, now, there you have it, folks. The video ended rather abruptly there as uh, Betty or Katie or whatever name she wants to use is taken away. Yeah, I think it's really a shame she uh, has to do this at 62 years of age. She should be relaxing somewhere, somewhere nice, relaxing somewhere. But no, she wants to take rides in the back of cop cars. At any rate, if you enjoy watching Idiots, Imbeciles, and Morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that.